Welcome back to Film Gob everyone, it's Shaker here and it's time for one of those scoops that you love so much. And uh, this is coming from my good old friend, my source, who I'm not going to name, obviously. He contacted me, I did not reach out to him, he contacted me just a day or two after the New York Times interview with Ben Affleck came out. There's something there that I think forced my source to contact me because they're hiding things and he knows the truth. Uh, This is a quote from Ben Affleck. I showed somebody the Batman script. They said, I think the script is good. I also think you'll drink yourself to death if you go through what you just went through again. That's referring to the Justice League production that uh, Ben Affleck was unhappy with and he didn't want, you know, this somebody didn't want Ben Affleck to go through that again. Now what you're about to hear now is from my source, so let's see what he had to say. Around the time the blogs and the popular website first started announcing that Jeff Johns was helping Ben Affleck with the Batman script, all was not well behind the scenes and Ben Affleck told him, told Jeff Johns, to fuck off. Toby Emmerich was brought in to mediate. Now Toby Emmerich, his approach was, Look, I like it, but if it gets the same reaction as Batman v Superman, you could go into a spiral. Ben Affleck, obviously, he's unhappy. He wants to write, direct and star in this Batman film. So Toby Emmerich tried to de-escalate it. He said, well, okay, tell you what, let's take the pressure of directing off your shoulders so you'll only have to write and produce. The direct quote of, we're just looking out for you, we don't want another Heath situation, was used. But Ben Affleck was adamant his script was ready and he wanted to direct. Now everything Ben Affleck was writing, basically it was Batman v Superman meets the town meets the raid. Well, all that clashed with Jeff Johns' new Justice League soft reboot plans because he needed everything to be streamlined into his more optimistic DC Universe. 29th of August 2016. This was when Ben released the Deathstroke test footage as a way of saying, look at this clip, look at the reaction it's getting on social media from the fans. Back off, I know what I'm doing. This was a a tactic by Ben Affleck. And even, you might have remembered how he was coming out with If I'm not satisfied with the quality of the script, I'm not going to make it. And those were coded threats to Jeff Johns that he would walk if he kept getting pressured. Moving forward to 10th of January 2017, Ben Affleck had just gone on Jimmy Kimmel and said he's still directing. The next Batman. I'm going to direct the next Batman. We're working on it. He was excited. This was 100% true as far as he knew. Now, sometime during that month, January 2017, Toby Emmerich had a sit-down with Ben Affleck. There was a Facebook announcement that he was going to step down from directing the Batman movie. So Toby Emmerich basically used the same tactic he used to get Zack Snyder to voluntarily walk away from the Justice League movie, that he should take time off because of his family tragedy, we don't want you to have a breakdown, that kind of thing. Realising Jeff Johns had gone ahead and approached directors behind Ben's back and Toby's back, Toby Emmerich used the line, you can still star in the movie and produce it, but directing is too much pressure for you. So Toby Emmerich had already planted the seed. He knew Jeff Johns had gone behind Ben's back talking to other directors, like Darren Aronofsky, Matthew Vaughn. Most of them turned it down full stop. Matt Reeves said he had some ideas but maybe Johns should get his house in order first, referring to Jeff Johns and Ben Affleck's conflict. Ben was actually in the middle of the divorce at that time, so thinking Toby had his best interests at heart, he'd already planted a seed of doubt when he looked at the script, he accepted Toby's new plan and announced he'd be stepping down as director only on his Facebook page. Now this is why Matt Reeves had been lined up as a replacement so quickly, Johns already had him in the pocket waiting. So you'd think Ben Affleck and Jeff Johns writing the Batman movie together would be a good compromise, but no, Jeff Johns still wasn't satisfied 
and he wanted Ben Affleck gone, but was satisfied with playing the long game and waiting Ben out. Now, after the announcement that Ben was leaving the director's chair, John's blog buddies, they'd take care of the rest by constantly insisting he was fired outright, which would either force Ben to pull out or trigger a relapse, forcing Warner Brothers to pull him. So my source goes on to say, my suspicions are he, Jeff Johns, continuously leaked sensitive intel to friendly blogs he believed would crank up the pressure on Ben, such as this guy, saying he's definitely fired, etc. And that in itself would force Ben to walk away voluntarily or have a public lapse, which would give them the reason to take the project away from him. It's also why Matt Reeves was so coy the whole time. It's this final word on Batman. Ben Affleck, is it happening? Are you looking at Ben? Is he going to keep the role, do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, right now that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Good luck. Yeah, cool. Because it could have literally gone any way. Then Johns got sacked, Walter Hamada came in and started looking at the whole mess and gave Ben Affleck the option to still do it. So it was kind of back on. But by then, the Phoenix tattoo fiasco and a bunch of other stuff, including the Justice League being savaged, turned into a meme joke. And his weight was fluctuating, he was struggling with sobriety, etc. Under orders from Hamada, they then tried to sit down and hash out a plan. So my source finishes off, he says, I've got no details of what transpired then, but I'm guessing by that time too much water had gone under the bridge, so it didn't get very far. And I think, at that time at least, Ben had gotten it in his mind that one, continuing to chase this bat was detrimental to his health. Two, he had figured Reeves didn't really want him as his Batman and was just going along with it out of court say, so he walked. So there you go everyone, there is possibly the scoop that details how Ben Affleck was forced off the Batman movie. Now I see a lot of fans out there, you know, they want Ben Affleck back as the Batman, but uh, I doubt that's going to happen. I would say the best thing to do is, you know, get the Justice League Snyder cut out there first, then maybe get Warner Brothers talking to Zack Snyder, maybe coming back, and then we can talk about Ben Affleck maybe coming back as Batman. But it's all down to Ben himself. If he's happy, if he's healthy, and if he still wants to do it, that's great. But you cannot force the guy, so it's really down to him. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Click that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Why not check out these other videos in the meantime? But until next time, I'm Shaker, and I will catch you later.